Okay, so here's my first look at the new Anim test boss. I'm on my level 135 adventurer. Um, it's gonna be pure Yalker gear for my first run through. Um, Lunar, the wolf maiden. Okay, so I'm going in completely blind. I know there's a burn effect and I know it's an earth monster. Um, that's pretty much it. So let's take a look here. 150 to energy, 140 to ice and dark. Very low soft damage cap. Level 165, 300 strength, so it'll hit pretty hard. Freedom, boss boost, and moisturized. Absorbs the first hit of each turn, okay. That's kind of a disaster because my armors are all one hit armors, except for retro golden plate. So we might just be finished <laughs> based off that. Um, okay, well, let's, I just don't even know what to do at this point. Let's use Kukwinbo, because he can give me an Ellie shield. Let's get in my earth armor. Maybe I have a wind bow. Don't think I have a wind bow. Okay, you avoid the worst of the foe's strikes. Let's see if there was a, um, no battle log pop up for any effects. these okay silent star is my best bet it's three hits i'm also going to use i'm going to use zombie director yeah zombie director okay this might actually be doable let's see even though i'm 30 levels down um supposedly sweet innocent maiden harbors more sinister side her regenerative abilities are second to none. That's not good news for me. Her secret is staying so well hydrated, so much so she can absorb the first hit each turn. Okay, let's see how much she regenerates. Oh, what the hell? Maiden's gaze causes you to panic. That was interesting. Oh my, what the? Okay, let's... I have no idea what just happened. Um... I'm panicked. I've got Feral Wrath, which is an Earth Burn. Um, okay, I think I got inflicted with status when I first attacked. Um, okay, so the Maiden's Gaze causes me to panic. So I was panicked on my first attack after my first successful hit. Then a damage reduction aura manifested around me. That was from Kirkweenbow. That was my pet. I just forgot I had it. And then she burned me on her turn. Okay, let's see how much damage the burn does. Uh, do I have a misc to help with? Not really. No. Okay. So the first attack not only doesn't do damage, it heals her. Which is a little unfortunate. I wonder if I'd be better off not attacking. Okay. Okay, so two stacks of Feral Wrath. They stack independently. Interesting. The first miss did no damage, and the second hits did normal damage. So it's the first attempted attack each turn, not the first actual hit of damage. Happened again there. Uh, but I'm doing, I'm doing diddly squat, bro. Let's see if she heals on her turn. Okay, she heals 129 HP. Okay. Panicked. Um, is she healing based off the damage? No, I don't think so. Okay, but she did just heal the full. All right, so I'm gonna call it quits on the level 135 adventure. Don't think he can take on this boss without some serious preparation. Um, and we're gonna hop on to my main accounts. I think we'll go with a... Um, Let's see, I'm looking at the options. I think I'm gonna go with a warrior build, maybe a ranger build, just to spice it up. I'll think about it. You'll see very soon though. All right, be right back. So we're back and the build I decided on is a tanky ranger with some mana to work with. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and start the fight. 
I'm starting out on H series, I think it won't actually guarantee me initiative, so I'll switch to my uh, random earth armor. Okay, so she can burn, uh, but not always. And also I have an accuracy potion. Now, what are the pet and guests for? Don't worry about it uh, yet. We'll get to that. But the first thing I'm going to do is um, swing on her just a little bit. Enchanted Emerald is my Dex Luck Misk. Um, it also gives Earth resistance, but apparently it's bugged. Either way, not a big deal. Toggle on Overdrive, Missile Barrage, and we'll see how much damage that does. So the healing to her is greatly boosted, um, or it's not capped by the damage cap. So either way, um, that could cause problems, except our goal is to nullify those problems. Now, Earth Goddess Defender, we're going to use a quick cast Earth LE Shield, so we'll take a little bit less damage. And I'm going to use the Bell Shell Misk as well. If I had the uh, the Terrapin Shell spell, I would have used it during this turn. But um, unfortunately, I don't have that. I don't have access to that. And finally, I'm going to cast Sisters of Mercy instead, just to make sure. Actually... I'm going to use Matchmaker. So, we have Celerity. I'm going to use Essence Orb a little bit. This Celerity will uh, work next turn. It won't work this turn. Um, so just my cheap Earth Misk and Sisters of Mercy. And I should be well defended for this next attack. Now I'm probably over defending, um, but not a big deal. About the customs art, just don't worry about it. I'm making a video like in the next week. Um, but so now that we have Celerity, going to Shenya form. Ring of Precision, Pride Lord, and Spotter Drake. And this should give us an extremely high chance of inflicting Prismatic Burn. I was consumed by the purifying rainbow flames. Okay, so now um, again we're gonna go to Eternal Champion. Uh, bring back Frank and Twilly. Bring back my Customs Art for Mana Regain. Equip Mother's Growth Shield. Plus 50 Charisma. Gonna use some Essence Orb again, spamming it a little bit, but who's to say what's good and what's not. And I'm going to use Bell Shell. And I'm gonna cast Moonwalker's Grace. Now again, I attack. And just do a little bit of damage. Okay. So here, is where we do some testing. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Gaia Plate and a Water Spear, because if you look at her resistances, her water resistance is negative. So if she takes opposite damage, or if she takes negative damage from the first attack of each element every turn, then, or the first hit every turn, water damage should do positive damage. And it does, look at that. So I'm going to use this mechanic to negate her moisturized um, mechanic. And I think I'm going to keep Bell Shell equipped, uh, but maybe not. And because um, Gaia Plate is a one-hit armor, I should be able to just click attack and slowly kill her. But I'm, I'm dealing limited damage. 117. Hmm. I was hoping that it would negate her damage cap, uh, but it seems like I can't negate her damage cap, so I'm still going to kill her very slowly. Luckily, we have the Prisburn also taking her down. Otherwise, we might be in trouble. I'm going to have Twilly attack. Who cares if I get panicked if I'm just above her damage cap anyways? Um, I think I don't need Bell Shell. Now I think I probably do. For the uh, earth defense, not for the healing effect, because I'm not doing any like significant damage. So Bell Shell is probably only healing me a couple, like dozen HP per turn. 
so nothing too significant. But it looks like we're whittling her down with ease. Um, I think half the damage I've taken is from Essence Orb, so no big deal. I am low on SP. Um, if Eternal Champion was one hit, I would use that because it has an SP regen passive, but I don't think we'll need to. I think this solution to the boss will uh, be fine. I'll just be a little low on resources. You know, I am going to, um, I'm just going to spam Essence Orb a little more, maybe three clicks. Should be good. And Bell Shell. Yep, and so that is the boss um, taken down. Now that now that I've finished the mechanics and exposing... Oh, I forgot to keep casting. Um, my whole plan was to use the Zard to replenish my mana to keep casting Moonwalker's Grace, but I entirely forgot until just now. Uh, but no big deal. We did it now. Um, but Moonwalker's Grace is so that I make sure I don't miss my attack because... If I miss my attack, then I'm missing out on the whole point of using a uh, weapon that would normally heal her. But anyways, now that I've finished the boss's mechanics and exposed it a little bit, um, I am going to... So I think I've finished the boss. I'm going to comment on the art and the design. Uh, the art is sweet. I think it's really cool. Um, I like that it's using a cross weapon. I don't know where that's from, to be honest. Um, but I like that it's using the Madam Barrier, and this is like based off an anime character. It's based at Propane Bot. Um, yeah, but just great boss. Fun little challenge. I like the new moisturized mechanic. I don't know if it was intended that you could uh, do normal damage with the opposite element. Um, but once I realized I was doing negative damage, I was like, hmm, what if I could put this on the negative resistance? Uh, so I like my little solution. Very simple, just click attack. But yeah, I used some niche mana methods and I used a fun little damage and utility pet. The kill was kind of close. I think if I played it a little bit smarter, a little more planning ahead, less commentary, uh, I would have come out with much healthier. But either way, fun boss. Uh, I'll end the clip here. Uh, but there's Anim's house. So fun little challenge. Shout out to Anim. Love these little bosses you make. Um, a great time to play.